Okay, so I can only assume that you see me here. So I'll put this first, then I'm going to put this little censorship on YouTube. Because YouTube has been censoring me for a very long time. Right along with the BC Liberal government monitoring me with the nonprofit that I founded. Not with Uncle John's money, people. More like with my family allowance and, and uh, my life insurance policy that I borrowed money on and that type of stuff, right? Because I, I didn't go off and, you know, buy diamond rings and, you know, things brand new and all this other stuff, right? I shopped in Value Village and saved myself a little bit of money so I could give back to my community and try and do something positive. But unfortunately, that's not the kind of world that we live in, right? Only, only politicians that are going up for election can come out and say, well, you know, people, if you elect me, I'll bring in a universal snack program because we know that Judy Chorney is coming up in the ranks trying to promote a universal school meal program and school restoration in the United States of America. And she's pretty serious about it because she even went as far as to go get a federal trademark name so that people would actually believe what she was saying. And we wouldn't want that to happen because if she was successful, people, if she was successful, that would take the limelight off these fake politicians. Keep that in perspective. That's what 14 years have taught me. As for the rest of the general population, if they're not suffering, the majority of them don't give a shit because they're too busy filling their own pot with whatever they can put in there and hoard it away in their monster homes, in their um, condos, and that kind of thing. Retirement registered saving plans and you know, superannuation plans, and just, you know, it's just me, me, me. We live in a me society. Very few people on low income go off and do something stupid like I did. So anyway, because I went off and did something stupid, I've been gang stalked ever since. Only the gang stalking and the psychological warfare and all that other crap, people disappearing, children disappearing, old people disappearing, you know, <clears throat> meth being brought into the communities and infecting, you know, innocent lives, 12 and 13 and 14 year olds to set up the next generation of children being apprehended from those parents and, you know, just to keep the, the status quo going, you know, I, I, I've, I've learned a lot, people. I've learned what our society is built on and it's not being civil towards each other. No, there's a general population that is used as a commodity. I said general, which means the majority, right? But the majority of your taxes go to pay the government workers that employ this stuff. Energy weapons are not being deployed by your neighbor. Energy weapons are being deployed by the government, whether it's the municipal government, whether it's the provincial government, whether it's the federal government, or all levels of the government. And being that we're coming in with agenda now 30, forget about 21, that's what I'm hearing on YouTube, because I'm not the only one that talks about this stuff, people. Because there's other people out there that are targeted individuals. And being a targeted individual is not nothing new. What's new about being a targeted individual in today's terms is the fact that, Andre, is the fact that people can document it more so than, say, in 1945, you know, or 1960, or even 1980. You know, it took, it took the cam cord in order to be able to pick up the energy moving at the speed of light. It took the Internet to be able to access the information as to what kind of energy is being deployed in your yard, whether it's a blue beam in terms of a hologram, camera is flashing. What does that mean? Low battery. Hold on. Okay, so anyway, if, it, if it's something, it's only because the camera's in there plugged in and I can't I can't afford to replace it my credit's been wiped out I was set up to fail people I was set up to fail with this nonprofit okay I came in on the right foot for the right idea right to help people to help children to help families to help even government fucking workers but at the end of the day what it's taught me is that we live in a very corrupt society that operates on white collar crime all to control the individual and the family and, 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 and the general population so that your tax dollars go to prop up some sort of ideology that somehow a government worker like Joan Duncan is so much better than you.
even though she has a history of eating her own flesh. Because she likes to pick at herself and then eat the freaking scabs. What does that tell you where your tax dollars are going? Because she was conditioned to think that somehow she was better than the people that she served. That she was hired to serve. So, in terms of psychological warfare, gaslighting, and all this other stuff, people disappearing, this is why it's happening, okay? Is because those people that do this stuff, which is usually, normally, 100%, connected to a government agency of some sort because they're the only ones that have the technology to do this kind of stuff. They're the only ones that can come in and start fucking around with your YouTube channel. They're the only ones that can delete videos and, and, and do whatever they do, right? You know, in terms of like, they're the only ones that can deploy, deploy energy weapons in your yard and then delete comments or whatever it is to try and hide the fact that you know, we're, people are catching on to it. People, people are catching on to it. And it makes you sick, people. It makes you sick. And that's why they do it. That's why they call it soft kill. That's why they, that's why they targeted individuals normally have pain spots that don't ever get rectified because they combine it's, it's psychological warfare. They come from this direction, this direction, this direction, this direction. If they can't get you over there, they get you over there. And if they can't break you over there, they try and break you over there, right? Well, they take people from your house, children, you know, old people through the healthcare system or whatever it is, you know, Uncle John's case, right? They, they, they financially ruin you whenever they can. You know, they use websites like GMOI to do their smear campaigns to try and destroy you. They, um, they just do all kinds of crazy crap, right? It's just, it's, and, and they do it in intervals, right? And they do it over a period of years. And then they shoot these energy weapons at you or whatever it is that they're fucking doing, whether it's a blue beam or that one with the joystick or whatever it is, the energy bullet, the orb that floats by, you know, a little orb. It's just a little round orb that just happens to float by and go in there, you know, like that's an energy weapon, people. That's something that's in my house that's being deployed by some government agency and a dirty cop. A dirty cop. Those are the only kind of people that can have that type of technology. It is not my neighbor. If my neighbor is involved, it's only because the government agency went and approached them and bribed them with some money to participate with the gaslighting activity and the psychological warfare. They're not, they're not the government. They just work for the government. They don't get pension plans, though. They don't get superannuation plans because they, they don't have that seniority yet. But they get a paycheck to gaslight and to, and to gang stalk and to do all these other things, just like this GMOM ICE website. I'm pretty sure they get a pension check. No, not a pension check. I'm sure they get a paycheck to, to enable their users to continue to do what they do. Somebody's getting paid. Their, their website never gets shut down. They just go from this individual to that individual to that individual. And there's no reprimand. They don't get reprimanded. Nobody can take them to court successfully. They put their advertisements for, you know, telephone this and BC Bell and, you know, Telus and, 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 and credit cards. These are the advertisements on this website. <coughs> you know, MasterCard, credit card, you know, sign up now and, you know, go enroll your children into piano lessons. And, you know, so, so, so advertisers are advertising with a smear campaign, KKK hate website. And, and, and the government, you know, police departments and those type of things, they don't do jack shit. Because it all falls in line with that psychological warfare, just like with the blue beam, just like with the energy bullet, just like with that little joystick one where the comments have been removed, just like that little orb that goes by, just like when they take money away from my welfare check and just don't give me one. So I sit here with absolutely no money, but I have to fork out $1,700 in rent while my kids have not recuperated with Uncle John being medically kidnapped and completely disappeared after him being in their life since they've been born. Right? You go home, pick one member in your family that's been in your life for 25 years and have them just up and disappear and then you go out in the community and be gang stalked, psychologically warfared against, harassed, intimidated, threatened. 
right? And don't see if you don't speak out about it. Because if you don't speak out about it, do you honestly think these people are going to stop? No, they're not going to stop. That's why they keep doing it. Because it's too hard to prove. Because what happens is, when you say it enough times, even if you show the evidence, like I'm trying to show the evidence, they come in, they take away the comments, so that you know you can't follow up on that evidence. All you see is a video, so you're not getting the full information. Right? And then after a while, the, per the person that's trying to give you that information starts to look like a lunatic. Me. I'm a lunatic. Right? I'm a ranting, raving lunatic. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm living in the twilight zone. Only me out of uh, 400,000, 400 million people between Canada and the United States. Only one person out of 400 million people is being gang stalked. And literally put under soft kill criteria because this is soft kill if you look at my videos when I first moved into this house I was looking a whole lot better than the way I look right now and it's not just yard work people it's that constant bombardment of fear intimidation hurt harassment right being overworked accusations that aren't true right just all of it it's 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 just non-stop so when it starts to happen to you, you need to realize for what it is. And you need to stand up and say something about it. And if you can, take it to fucking court. Take it to court. <clears throat> if, if it means you being murdered, well, maybe if enough of us get murdered and it can get documented, maybe these white-collar criminals that do this shit will start going to fucking jail. Because I'm starting to think there's a lot of dirty fucking cops out there. Okay, go get them the 50 horses. Why would we want to get them 50 horses when they can't even clean up their own fucking act? Because this is cop related. This is government related. This is not just uh, uh, my neighbor with some little joystick toy that he's got across sticking it out his fucking window trying to harass his neighbor. This is government stuff. For whatever reason, they use war on terror. The only terror that's been going on in this household is domestic terror. And that domestic terror has been com coming from the, the people that are elected to represent the people, that their, their, their constituents. The premier of this province is supposed to represent all of BC and its constituents, regardless of their age, race, and gender. Not... <clears throat> The new immigrant that's coming in with $10 million in their pocket so they can buy up all the fucking properties and kick out the indigenous so the indigenous become the next prey to these morbid human beings that get paid to torture people. People, it's September 15th, 2016. Okay? I am... This is a, just another form of censorship, people. Okay. I am on this video. What is it? A ghost. This, this video occurred... This video occurred... December 24th, 2011. This is Project Bluebeam. I'm almost positive of, positive of it. And not only that, like I said, people have been creeping my yard for a long time. Okay, because do you see that centerpiece there? That's a piece of wood. Now, it's not the way I placed it, right? But as the video moves along, you'll see that somebody has gone out there and moved it so it kind of looks like a pig's head. It was a YouTube user that mentioned it to me. And when I look at it... it it kind of makes sense. Right? Can you see it? Okay. Let's see this again. Watch this little creature. There it is. It goes right through the fence. It doesn't even look real. It's it's something. I'm kind of mad at my family right now. That was at, that was at regular speed. This is all my mess. Can you see that, people? Okay, somebody's been screwing around with my yard. There it is right there. Somebody's been screwing around 
in my yard ever since I moved in. Obviously, I don't run around with my camera all the time, so I don't catch everything that goes on. We know that I'm being spammed, right, by various individuals for whatever reason. I do believe that my YouTube channel has been censored for a very long time in terms of oppressing information, in terms of making it difficult for me to promote the nonprofit, just everything in general, right, for whatever reason probably union related right government related just the whole nine yards because I, I own an international trademark name and I work on a nonprofit that promotes a universal school meal program and uplifting the community and you know getting rid of degradation and disenfranchising whole communities and you know just a lot of well it's not supposed to be considered anti-government but, you know, when a government is going out there trying to disenfranchise and hold back the people and keep millions in poverty, and along comes somebody like a Malcolm X or a Martin Luther King or John F. Kennedy or, you know, somebody as simple-minded as me that wants better for the community, Shoot. all of a sudden we become targets, right? So anyway, if you notice here, it says 74 comments. Okay. It says 74 comments says here there are comments waiting to be approved because I just posted these links most recently to another channel on their video and if you notice here where's those 64 comments do you see them I don't see them I just did this one here 14 minutes ago dated from this day September 15 2016 64 comments have been removed by someone else as most recently and not by me as I would not try to hide this video or the comments that were posted on it only a government agent or someone looking to hide 21st century energy weapons from the general public could possibly come onto this video and delete all 64 comments perhaps it's another YouTube glitch you know it's it's always something else right and everybody nobody ever takes any response just uncle john right you know he just disappeared and nobody takes any responsibility for that my daughter just turned into a junkie and nobody takes responsibility for that right just a whole lot of shit that nobody likes to ever take responsibility for so this is just another glitch that nobody's going to take responsibility for or it's a form of censorship going on and the comments will reappear at some point in the future or maybe they will stay removed because we live in a society where white-collar crime is rampant and including governments using innocent lives as their personal lab rats there's a long history people of governments using human beings children minority groups as lab rats for their science experiments the Catholic Church leads the pack with the Native Americans Right in New York, they use black children with you know aid medication to you know see what they could get from that by overdosing innocent small children with medications that weren't even approved by you know government agencies. Uh, people were used for syphilis experiments. The Nazis used human beings for all kinds of experiments. So to suggest that energy weapons aren't being used on the public is a, it's just a, some, some fantasy idea that couldn't possibly ever happen, even though when you go on YouTube and you listen to people with their gang stalking and psychological warfare and gaslighting and all this other stuff that other people are experiencing in their own lives for whatever reason, Okay, because me personally, I, I think it has something to do with the nonprofit and the fact that I try and promote universal wellness across the United States of America and Canada. Right? Too many people like to keep too many people oppressed and living in poverty and using them as lab rats. So, you know, if you stand up against that, you're going to get targeted. So that's why I, I personally believe I'm being targeted. If I was a nobody that sat there and did nothing all day long, just lived my little life right then maybe it I wouldn't be noticed but that's not true either because the government likes to target those people as well anyway I went in I want to know where those 64 comments went so I'm looking for them because they're not showing up here I'm going to show you this in a minute I go into comments because what's happening here if you notice it says there are comments waiting to be approved 
Now, people, I am being spammed, okay, by n several groups of people. Obviously, John, John's extended uh, family there in Victoria, who have a lot to hide in terms of, you know, fraud and money laundering and all that other stuff. Medical kidnappings and, you know, taking out people's brains and putting in styrofoam after the fact. You know, they don't want, they don't, they don't, they don't want to be held accountable for that, right? So, um, and then, you know, there's that GMOI, which I'm starting to think might be an affiliate with some sort of government agency that allows them to go around bashing people and openly campaigning to have them lose their home, their children, their loved ones, you know, their life, basically, you know, that's what they work to do. That's just another form of gaslighting, psychological warfare, which kind of goes in par with, with this stuff. Right, because it's not just a project blue beam or an energy beam. There's the psychological part behind it as well, because this is like a mass experimentation being used in terms of soft kill energy weapons to deploy upon you know among the among the general population to take out those that they don't see as beneficial to their political plan, because this, anything government has to do with politics. So anyway, you go in here. It says. There are comments awaiting approval, so we'll await it. If you notice, there's nothing there, right? And anything that's to do with my ghost, whether it's the orb floating by or whether it's the energy beam with the bullet or whether it's that thing in the front, because I have more than one video, people, of this camera capturing things that are faster than the speed of light that the normal eye can't see that's being deployed in my yard or inside my home. There's just too much evidence to suggest otherwise. And on top of being gang stalked by some sort of uh, website that is, in my opinion, a hate website that is allowed to continue to antagonize and to, to, to maim and harm innocent families, basically. So, if the government is allowing that to continue, the government must be involved. There must be government agents that run that website, right? Andre, please, if you go into likely spam, nothing shows. If you go into publish comments, there you go. There they are. There's your 64 comments that have somehow been hidden. YouTube has somehow filtered them out so that when you go onto my page, it says there's 64 comments, but you can't see them. Andre, please, let me finish. Right there they all are, right there. And I bet you if I go into my other videos where my comments have suddenly disappeared and there's something there being held for review, but when you click it on, there's nothing there. Four years ago, four years ago, four years ago. These are comments all from four years ago, people. Okay? So they're there. So what I did, what I did, okay, you go to hell to review, nothing there. Likely spam, nothing there. We're going to backtrack. We're going to go back to the video. There, under public comments, you see them all, 64 comments, plus... The ones that I just uploaded now, right? And we'll go back, go back. There's the video. It's coming up. Give it a second. Okay, there's the video. It says 75 comments. Let me come in closer. It says 75 comments. I just posted two 25 minutes ago. I read it to you already, and then, because I found the original comments, I came in there and I posted that 21 minutes ago. There they are. I just copied and pasted. Can you see that? View all eight replies. Is this going to go missing too, people? Because my other comments went missing. They got hidden. Are these ones going to get hidden along with the other 73 comments or whatever it is? That's curious. I, I, like, do you see how my channel is being censored? And it, I mean, there is no, you know, there is no. Um, you can't rely on YouTube to be 
to be professional in terms of the service that they provide to the general public. They use my channel as just a means as a filler to promote their their smut, right? You know, you know, I, I do I do a little video with outfits that I made that you can go out into a nightclub and wear if you wanted to wear them there. You can wear them at pool parties. You can wear them anywhere. They're not necessarily stripper wear, but because I'm being gang stalked and harassed, you know, the one video that I made to show people what I'm capable of doing when I have time, do you see there's all those comments that were hidden that have somehow magically disappeared. Andre, that have somehow magically disappeared for the purpose of censoring. Let's go into this review thing. It should be gone. I've already clicked this out like three times. Okay? Go into review. Where are they? There's nothing there for review. There's nothing there to be approved. Right? There's no comments. The only way you can see the original comments is by going into the comments that are published. But YouTube has already removed them off my page, even though they've been sitting there for four years. Right? Because basically, people, they don't want you to see that this is the actual Project Blue Beam that is being deployed in our communities. Whatever this thing is, is not real. I'm kind of mad at my family okay? right now. It's not real. And because I did not place so that much. wood to make it look like a freaking pig's head. That's somebody coming into my yard, doing that in the middle of the night, and then the next day, they're throwing off their little Project Blue, because you see people, what they need when they do Project Blue Beam is they need, they need, they need to use something as a reflection to bounce it back off. They can't just project it into your yard or project it wherever. They, they have to have something with some of the, I don't know about Project Blue Beam, but with these energy weapons that go like this, because I have another video, several of them actually, with something flying, you can actually see it's like a mist. It's not, there's the energy bullet and then there's the, the, this other thing. Oh, you're right, I have links to it. So, um, but in this case, you know, that whatever this thing is, is not human. It's not there you can see you can see how how that kind of looks don't you see i did not place that to look like that people that's a piece of wood that somebody came into my yard in the middle of the night back in 2011 and placed it in the center of my fire pit because they knew right this wasn't my neighbor this was somebody in the neighborhood that's been operating against me in terms of psychological warfare and gaslighting and all this other crap because they knew that they've been using my yard whether they were using my yard before I moved in or whether they were using it after I moved in I don't know I just know that my yard has been high, high, hardwired for, for um, some sort of science experiment there do you see it it's right there people does that look like an animal to you no that's not an animal. And not only that, but it goes right through the chain link fence. It doesn't jump over it. It goes through it. Okay. I have other videos with the blue beam showing only the camera can only videotape so much. So whatever was going on must have been going on at a different location because the camera didn't pick it up. What it did pick up was the blue beam. Okay, in this case, I got lucky. And I'm telling you people, this is all in the blink of three seconds. The only reason you can see it the way you were seeing it is because it's at low speed, right? But when you videotape using a camcord, the camcord has the ability, I don't know about the new ones now, because the government's always shady. They probably came in with some lens to cover it up. I'm still working with an old camcord that, like, you know, has been since, like, 2009. So my camcord is very, very old. So it doesn't have any special lenses over it to hide these energy weapons, okay? Because, personally, I think cell phones have been installed with new lenses to prevent, to prevent people from seeing what's actually going on. So... Being that 64 comments were removed from this page, I just added two more. Sorry, not 64. It was 73. I added two, so now we're at 75. Okay. 
<coughs> whatever is waiting approval still you know I like I say I can delete this out it doesn't do anything when I come back to the page it's gonna do the same thing I can push show more all it's gonna tell me is couldn't load comments try again so basically I've been censored out it, this video has been censored out and not only this video but several other videos so like I'm experiencing ongoing attack I'm being being experienced by this I'm being attacked by this GMO website GMO I website with their fake users that is in my opinion a hate website and um, I think that they're somehow working with you know some sort of government agency uh, right along with whoever does these you know deploys these energy weapons and um, so anyway go into this upload I'm gonna upload this one after I'm done this one because I try not to think about this stuff people I mean you, you can't you can't worry about it right like this ghost orb energy weapon I don't know if that one if the comments have been removed uh, I don't know if it even has comments let's go find out I know that there's been other ones that have been removed off of other videos you know specific okay government goes for government technology let's go into that one you're gonna find the same thing right oh, there you go again oh no this one video this one comments are still here go into review you know obviously the spam the trolls right they're playing games because you know they they're allowed to do that they they're allowed to go and and harass people and 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 you know and 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 make false accusations and you know try and get people to lose their homes and the whole nine yards okay so here's one right here uh, this one um, this is published on June 20th 2013 uh, is the witness trying to explain a missile hit when he says bullet his English is very poor and this is Michael Hastings US citizen sanctioned drone strike assassination right I don't know if this video is up anymore or if it's been censored out but it's not showing it's not showing here people let's go back okay if I do you see it here I don't see it here do you see it here I see these ones I see these ones do you see that there's this person the replies go into review go into publish comments there's that person there's the replies but where did that where did this where did this one go people it's not showing on my page do you see this this is censorship okay this is the government trying to hide what people are up against okay because people aren't stupid they're 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 catching on to what's going on okay we don't live in a normal society anymore all right this is soft kill technology that you're witnessing and people are trying to speak out about it speak out against it okay but let's go to another video okay this one here is the blue beam you can see it's the same color only this is when the city was harassing me right probably due to GMOI somebody from there calling up the city calling the, somebody did from the United States called my landlord tried to get me evicted right GMOI instigated it and their affiliates which I'm starting to think they must be working with a government agency in order to have that website stay up and not be censored how come I'm being censored but GOMI is not being censored but whatever the spectrum was in terms of whatever was being pushed in that three second interval the camera didn't pick it up all it did was pick up the blue beam because you have to have the blue green beam in order to see the hologram and the hologram could be over here right could be over here versus the hologram was right there and it and, and within a three second interval it, or less maybe a, a second and a half because you have to slow down this the, the, the video frame by frame in order to be able to actually see it clearly right it happened to catch that object that looked like God knows what it was a cat it was a dog who knows whatever it was though flew through the fence and then didn't even walk but kind of scooted over to the woodpile 
All right? Then we've got this one, Ghost Government Technology. What is it? Ministry of Tears. This is with the energy bullet and we're morphing, morphing. There, do you see? It says six comments. So there should be six comments reading right now. Go into review. There's nothing there. Go into publish comments. There they are. Do you see that, people? Do you see that? So I'm going to copy and paste. Okay. I'm going to go back into the video. Okay, members and friends, I'm going to do this this Keeps way. Keeps coming up. Let me just turn on I'm going to paste it on. Okay, watch this video. And I'm going to get censored again. Right here. Looks like because the government doesn't want you to know Watch it change. what other people are starting to suspect. Because we have to live with this. I live with this, people. Because okay? where I have my bullet. Right? I'm getting sick, because and I've been getting two. sick. One, for whatever reason. And not only am I getting sick, but I'm getting gaslighted. There it is. There's your energy bullet right there. And it even stops on the frame. All right. I'm uploading, so this could be an interference. Who knows? Anyway, it's there. No, is it running? Yeah, it's running. You're going to see it in a second. I'll stop it as soon as we see it. Because it's going slow speed right now, right? Oh, that's, that's, that's going into this morphing of whatever's in the freaking bush shooting out crap out of their nose. Okay, the energy bullet is coming any second here. Okay. I'm not very good at editing and bringing things down to low speed. I do the best that I can. And I'm sure there's other videos of mine. There it is. That's the energy bullet. You can actually hear it. <coughs> the raccoon heard it before it seen it. And it heard it, and then when it heard it, it moved its head to see what it was that it heard, but this thing had already flew by. And this thing is going faster than the speed of light. Okay? There, it's gone. All right? The point is, is I'm being censored out. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, that's the point. Okay? And then there's another one. This one right here. Yeah. Be quiet. What is it? Ghost 2. This is where they need that reflection in the back in order to use their joystick. I don't remember what the name of the no. energy weapon is called. Okay. This one here. Review. Nothing to review because I'm being gaslighted. Psychologically gang stalked. Publish comments. There they are. Can you see that? Do you see how many is there, people? A lot. Yeah, a lot. Do you see that, people? Do you see that? Because they don't want you reading up about holographic images and have the links that connect you to these things. Right? Because they want to keep it hidden. They don't want you to know what's going on. Right? That's why there's so many murders going on in our society right now. If you notice, there's a lot of murders. A lot of doctors are being murdered, and a lot of whistleblowers are being murdered, and just a lot of, a lot of people being murdered. Here, I put this here, dated from this day, September 15, 2016. 64 comments have been removed. Oh, wait, how did we get to that one? What is it, a ghost? Oh, no, that's not the one I want. It's this one. This is the one with the other. This is, what is it, a ghost too? All right. Everything gone except for seven. That's it. So we're seven? just going to, there should be 15. So we're just going to put that there and put that back. But they're deleting my comments anyway. They're hiding them. All right. 
because they're playing games. They've been playing games with me for a long time. That's another reason why the nonprofit never goes anywhere, people. I noticed that back in 2001, 2002, 2003, but by then it was already too late because I had already started the nonprofit. I was posting things online, and as I was posting things online, my provincial government with Gordon Campbell would get up there and try and tweak it and make it sound like that, you know, all of a sudden he's bringing in a universal snack program only because I was working on bringing in a universal school meal program. Only the universal school meal program never came to manifestation because the union the union is corrupt people if the union can't control it the union won't allow it to happen and that's why nothing has changed in the last 14 years as a matter of fact the only thing that's changed is I've gotten sicker and this this gang stalking and psychological warfare and energy employment weapons are being used upon my family and myself it's just increased that's all that's called, and like I said, GMO, GMOI is a hate website that's being propped up by some government agency that allows this stuff to continue. Okay, that's my opinion. And YouTube is a part of that. Because YouTube is a very unstable site. It never used to be. It was much more reliable. But ever since they started making people depressed by taking away, you know, good channels and in terms of, you know, the format and they boxed everybody into something and then they forced them to take on some program like Google Plus that they I never wanted. And then when you got Google Plus and you use Google Plus, then they use Google Plus against you because the the you know the 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 Soul Patrol or or you know the government agents or the GMOI KKK racist bitches can come in and you know start flagging everything you know they can come in here and they can just you know report spam or abuse you know and they do you know they do that enough times and you know it gives it gives it gives that excuse at third party to start treating you like criminal even you know that you haven't done anything wrong right because a lot of these uh, comments were posted a year ago people these are comments from a year ago that give information to back up what's being shown on this video in terms of educating the public to the best of my ability as to what's around you. Your cell phones aren't picking it up because they put a special lens on it. Okay? You need a different kind of lens, a different kind of camera in order to see what's flying around you faster than the speed of light. Here you're going to see it. I'll show it to you just before I end this video. Watch this bucket. Watch this bucket, people. You're going to see, a, and do you notice the light back here? There's the reflection. In order to use this energy weapon, they have to be able to reflect it. But it's controlled by a joystick. Here is the perfect example that this weapon exists and is being used on the general public. Innocent human beings. Okay? Watch the bucket. Did you see it? It hides in here and then it scoots off in the grass. It's a mist that travels. I think it's a monster. It is a monster. <sighs> Be quiet. It's going to come in here. It goes here. It hides here. And then it joysticks off through the grass over there. One video shows it going through here much better because I tried to zoom in and then it, like I said it goes actually through the bucket into here it hides for a split second or two or whatever it is and then it scoots off but if you notice the reflection okay and it's controlled by a joystick and then the other video shows it going through the bucket hides and you can see it better on that video scooting off through the grass I'm not sure which one this one is hold on there it comes goes through the bucket there it's gone through the bucket it hides do you see it and then you'll see it scoot off in the grass there it is right there and it starts to scoot off is it okay close? that's undeniable there's you you know can't deny it. Can't deny that I'm not being censored. Can't deny I'm not being gang stalked. Can't deny that I'm not being gaslighted. 
can't deny can't deny that I'm not being preyed upon in terms of my family members, you know, my daughter, my stepdad, my grandson, you know, even my oldest son struggling with his issues. So anyway, that's that's just this video, right? Just another form of censorship. That's all.